Yankee relievers combined in this series have worked 14 and two thirds innings and have not allowed an earned run. As for Weaver, over his last 11 appearances, including the postseason, he has not allowed an earned run, and he struck out 27 of the 52 batters he's faced. He's going for his third save in this series. Had to get nine outs to cover the first two saves. Tough task, therefore, for the Royals in the ninth. Matt Blake made a, a change with Luke Weaver the beginning middle of the season a little grip change to get some more spin rate on his four seamer the ball has become more true in the top of the strike zone coupled with his changeup that has been the big difference just about everybody standing in Kansas City Pasquantino down on the count at 0 and 2 he knocked home the Royals only run of the game thus far with a double in the sixth. His lone hit of this series. Weaver deals. And Pasquantino strikes out on three pitches. That's just outstanding change up two in a row from Weaver. And look at the grip circle change plenty of spin. And the bottom just dropped out. Now the great veteran Sal Perez. The last link to those World Series teams of 2014 and 15 in his 13th big league season. 0 for 3 tonight. Tommy Pham. Bobby Wood Jr. next to him. Stanton and the pitching coach Blake. A one pitch. The 0-2 to Perez. High and away. This game is a funny game, Bob. Luke Weaver, two seasons ago, was in Kansas City. Appeared in 14 games, ERA approaching six. Trying to save his career. And here he is against Kansas City. Trying to get the biggest outs for this Yankee team in 2024. Perez taps it foul. Facing the yes. bench. He works that bubble gum over every game. He must be good for a packet of big league chew <laughs> for all 162 games plus the postseason. Weaver makes quick work of Pasquantino and then Perez, striking them both out. And the Royal season now comes down to Yuli Gurriel. Perez climbed the ladder and chased the pitch out of the strike zone. Gurriel's only had one at bat, no hits against Weaver. 0 for 3 tonight. In the air to center field. Judge has it lined up, and the Yankees are on their way to the LCS. The Royals gave them a good battle. All four games were close. But the Yankees, who didn't make the postseason last year, a rarity, now advance to the LCS. In the history of the franchise, the most successful franchise in baseball history by far, they finished first 50 times, either in the league or in the American League East, once they went to divisions. Plus, they were a wild card nine times, counting this year. So they've been in the postseason 59 times. 
in team history and this time they advance beyond the division series to the LCS where they'll meet either the Tigers or the Guardians. And I know what some of our viewers are thinking. There is still a possibility of a subway series. The Mets are in the LCS having ousted the Phillies against either the Padres or the Dodgers who will decide things tomorrow night at Dodger Stadium. And Judge and the Yankees are on to the next round. Judge playing that demanding center field all season long a historic year. Brad Osmus and Aaron Boone with the hug. Luke Weaver what a finish he had to this season. Two strikeouts here in the ninth. And Juan Soto is going to be as coveted this winter as anyone who's ever played the game. There's something appealing though about remaining in New York <laughs> with all the history of the franchise hitting ahead of judge friendly right field barrier out there. But he'll listen to all offers and there will be plenty. And he's not thinking about that now. Two more steps for them to get where they want to go to get out of the American League and into the World Series.